Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, general reading for Pisces. Uh, this is going to be for your May 2023. Uh, you can apply this to any replacements because this reading can be about anything. So we're going to take a look and see how your spiritual journey is going. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Okay, so Pisces, tell me about Pisces here. How is Pisces' spiritual journey going? How is Pisces' spiritual journey going for May 2023 for Pisces here? Okay, so we have the Fool card. We have the King of Pentacles. And then we have this like card. I don't know what, what, what this card is. Okay, um, so just a quick note that this is the first time I'm using this deck. I bought this deck like a year ago. So um, I didn't read the booklet. So the best way for me to familiarize myself with this deck is just to use it. Okay, so it seems like what's happening is that one of the things I feel like you're almost like, I feel like you're almost like stepping out of your comfort zone here. Okay, you're stepping out of your comfort zone here. You know, I feel like you're coming out of this like safe energy. I and I just feel like you're just excited to experience new things, do new things, take some bold risk here or some big risk here. Maybe you're taking some big risk here with your career, your money here, your business here. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. We have the six of wands here. There's some sort of victory success here. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that uh, Pisces. I feel like. Um, there's an energy of you stepping up to the plate here. Yeah, there's an energy of you stepping up to the plate here, really gaining some sort of control for yourself here. Uh, you know, you know whether, what, whether it's for yourself, whether it's regarding your career and your money here, you know, whether it's self-love, um, you're just gaining some sort of control here, okay? So we have the six, of, we have the four of swords here. seems like you're in this very balanced and stable energy here but at the same time it could be that you know with the full card you're looking for new experiences you're like looking to take some big risk here uh, because you know there is the energy of sort of like you know being kind of like in this like very safe energy here I gotta figure out what this card is hold on one sec Yeah, there's an extra card here. I wonder if I could Google it and find it. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure what this card, explore the cards. Just bear with me, yeah? Yeah, it's not here. Yeah, it, it seems like it's like, a, like it looks like a card that's where someone here is kind of like raising their consciousness, raising the vibration here. You know, there's a strong connection here with the universe, perhaps, you know, uh, connecting with oneself here too. Okay, maybe you guys, you know, were disconnected here or that you guys were reconnecting with yourself or that you're reconnecting with their gifts here too. Um, uh, Pisces, the uh, Fool card. We have the Justice card, Libra Energy. Tell me about the um, King. That's not the King of That's not the King of uh, Pentacles. It's the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Devil here, Capricorn Energy. That's not the Devil. That's Justice, Libra Energy. And then we have Capricorn Energy here with the Devil. You know, one of the things I'm, fe I'm feeling like you could be clearing out karma or that you're breaking free from some sort of karmic debt or that you're paying off some sort of karmic debt here. 
you know, whatever that is, because it's almost like an energy of like you're, you're regaining some sort of control. You're finding balance here. I mean, some of you guys could have come out of a toxic relationship or that you guys are overcoming codependency here or something like that, uh, because there's a sense of balancing things out. Uh, you know, there's a sense of clearing out karma, even maybe past life karma, such as past life imprints. You know, I, as I'm looking at this, maybe there are imprints that you're removing here that you're clearing out here, Pisces, okay? Um, I don't know what this card is, but let's take a look. Eight of Swords. Yeah, it seems like you're breaking free from some sort of, you know, uh, f from some sort of like, you know, prison that you've been in here. You know, maybe it's like a mental prison, an emotional prison, a physical prison or something like that. But there's a sense of feeling stuck where you're trying to break free from this, okay? Six of Wands and the Page of Wands here. You know, one of the things I'm also getting that, you know, some of you guys could be really tapped into your creative energy right now. You know, either, you know, um, you know, this creative energy could be something in the arts or something like that. You know, maybe you're writing books, maybe you're creating art, art stuff or that you guys could be in, you know, something that has to do with, you know, performing arts or something like that. OK, but I feel like whatever you're going through here, I feel like you're gaining a lot of inspiration here uh, through this process that you're going through. Um, we have the two of swords and the emperor here, the six of swords, the four of swords here and the seven of cups. Seems like, you know, you know, I feel like you're trying to find clarity in some sort of confusion that you're going through here, Pisces. Yeah, there's something that you're going through here. It's, it's kind of like, it's almost like you're coming out of it, but I also feel like there's a sense of feeling stuck here too. What else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on here when it comes to their spiritual journey? You know, the four of wands here and the two of wands. We have the Empress. We have the Empress of the Empress here, right? Yeah. And the uh, Page of Cups. The Queen. Oh. We have the Kings of Queen of Pentacles. Kings of, uh, we have the Empress of the Empress here. I mean, this could be an indication that you are balancing out your feminine and your masculine energy here. Or that there could be some sort of soulmate connection that's coming into uh, fruition. Or, or, or that is, there's some sort of... Uh, soulmate connection that's materializing here for you one of the things i'm feeling like you could be overcoming your fears here too yeah you could be overcoming your fears here with the moon in the reverse cancer pisces energy the queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo page of cups here and the empress here it seems like there could be new love coming into your life here too um uh uh, uh, uh pisces but also you know, whatever you're going through right now, personally, there's a lot of growth and expansion that's happening here, okay? There is stability here. There is balance here, okay? Uh, like I said, I feel like things are balancing out for you. Could be that you're paying off like karmic debts here and that, and as these karmic debts are being paid out, you're making room for new things in your life. Tell me about the Four of Wands here. Why is the Four of Wands here? Oh. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Swords here. Okay. This is interesting. There's new love coming into someone's life, but someone here, when it comes to love, someone here is, someone's heart is closed off here. Because I feel like someone here has been through so much hurt and so much pain. Let's see. Tell me about the Empress here. Give me the Seven of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are working really hard here. Um, some of you guys could be writers, okay? Uh, maybe you guys are writing about your experiences or something like that. But with the Empress here, Seven of Wands, you're definitely overcoming some sort of karmic cycle that you're going through here, okay? Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are working on some sort of projects here, okay? The Queen of Pentacles. The uh, King of Wands and the Moon card in the reverse and the Page of Swords. I do feel like, you know, there is a fear of maybe speaking the truth here too. And I feel like you're overcoming your fears about speaking the truth. 
Yeah, maybe, you know, it could be a situation as a child, you might have spoken on something here. Uh, you know, you might have spoken the truth and you might have gotten in trouble for it, for it because your parents didn't want to hear it or something like that. But, you know, I do feel like you're definitely paying off some sort of karmic debt here and I feel like there is new energy coming in for you here, Pisces, okay? So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.